Welcome, Eurovision fans! It's time to talk about Lithuania at Eurovision 2019. Lithuania will be represented by Eurius with the song Run With The Lions. If I had to pick a word to describe the song, it would be freedom, because it's talking about letting yourself go and being free and opening up. And to signify that song, <laughs> I'm going to give this poor little kitty some freedom because she's getting antsy. So I'll uh, let her go here and demonstrate what the song brings. Except she's not running away. She's just being annoying and going in front. It's a song about lions, so uh, I had to uh, um, bring the cat in here. I didn't think she'd be this annoying, so I'm going to have to <laughs> remove her so I could actually record this video. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back. A little cut. She's licking my hand. Oh, kitties. She hates me. You can, you can easily tell that. Okay, I'm back. Um, Kitty's in another room, so uh, I can actually do this review in peace. The problem is, is I can't keep her out here because she'll just do that. She'll be in front of the computer and stuff, so uh, I pretty much have to put her somewhere else so I can do this. <laughs> okay, so Yurius had actually performed at Eurovision in 2015, so he's not a newcomer to this, but he was one of the backing singers for Monica and Vitus with the song This Time. Uh, he also was involved in 2017 with the Lithuanian national final entry, Get Frightened, for Lolita Zero. He was actually a main vocal in that song. So what's good about this song? This song makes an incredible first impression. It captivates you with both sound and imagery. I don't know about you, but when I listen to this, I can visualize so many different things. The beat, the energy, the electronics, and the backing track. The vocals do a great job of building this world throughout the course of the song. This song is one of the reasons why I believe music is art. Not to mention that I felt chills and goosebumps during the song. Those don't go away in the subsequent listens. Every time I've listened to this song, I get those same chills and goosebumps. I had also mentioned the goosebumps for Bigger Than Us from the United Kingdom. Those actually went away later on as I listened to the song. That doesn't happen with this. This one keeps that. And I just love what the song does for me. Yuri Yu has such an awesome and unique voice. It goes from being completely delicate to an almost vulnerable, to being powerful and arena filling when it needs to be. This is not just a bland monotone song. This song takes us on a journey throughout so many different vocal ranges he has. The downbeat in the song is extremely complementary to the voice, and the electronics move it along quite well also. I love the electronics here. It's a song that has been done before, but I feel like it's told in a unique way, both musically and vocally. It's also the type of song that I personally can listen to over and over and over again. I'll never get sick of it, and then I can come back and listen to it ten more times on top of those. I have this desire to hear it again and again, and you don't have that with every song. This one I do. The staging of the song is absolutely gorgeous, too, with the black and the gold. I love how it starts dark and then it lights up. I enjoy the visual effects of the song, and I think it's going to look stunning at Eurovision 2019. So what are some potential problems with this song? There are so many mid-tempo songs this year. I love mid-tempo songs. I think mid-tempo is kind of where my favorites are. Uh, sometimes I really enjoy a fast song, but mid-tempo is really probably where you find most of the songs that I really enjoy. I do worry, though, that because there's so many of this type of song that it could potentially get lost in the shuffle. It is a very unique song, though, so I hope this isn't going to happen. There's always those that might say it's boring. There always are. You know, it's boring, it's slow, it's... But I do find myself intrigued by this after hearing it many times. But, you know, as a point of being objective, I have to point out that, yeah, I could see if people say it's boring or that it's been done before. Sure. Uh, you can also say this song doesn't have a huge moment. It has a very a lot of very nice moments. It's a lot of hills and valleys in this song. It's not necessarily a dynamite explosion moment, but it's got a lot of really pretty and beautiful moments. 
the ending is really nice with the falsetto. And will people actually appreciate that in closing? Maybe that's not big enough? I don't know for sure. All I know is the song itself, the entire three minutes, feels like a nice moment. Like you sat through something special. But again, it's a nice song, and is that good enough to win the entire contest? I don't know. We're going to have to see. Lithuania was successful in getting a low tempo, or a low, yeah, low tempo, high emotion song over last year. So hopefully they can repeat it again this year. I find this song to be completely enjoyable and so relaxing to listen to. The song really creates its own magic, and I love it. So what's my rating for this song? Well, like I said, I love this song. It's going to be a 9 for me. I'm giving this a 9 out of 10 because of how it makes me feel. Like I said, it's a visual journey for me. It's the type of song that I can listen to going to bed. It's the type of song that I could probably find inspiration for while doing cardio in the gym. It's not that song that's going to motivate me to lift, a, you know, 200 pounds above my head. But, uh, you know, for sitting there running on a bike or something, it's a perfect type of song. Uh, listening to it in the car, it's a reflective type of song. It's got so many purposes. I love it. So for me, my personal score is going to be a 9 for Lithuania. So is this song a contender or a pretender? Well, I'm going to say this song is a dark horse contender. Now, by dark horse, I mean it's a very dark horse. I feel kind of harsh saying that it could win the competition. Um, it feels weird to say that is what I meant to say. But I can't totally write it off either. This song could be very popular. And uh, so I'm thinking more of a teen placing, like 13 to 19 feels right for this song, if I'm just basing it on how I feel about where it could potentially place. But that being said, is it a contender to qualify? And yeah, I have a feeling in my heart this song is going to qualify. This is actually going to be one of your qualifications. I don't see any reason why it won't. It's just a nice song, and I think people are actually going to take to this. I think the jury can appreciate it, and I think the televoters will appreciate it. So yeah, I don't see any place where this is not going to qualify. So yeah, in closing, this song is a dark, 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 dark horse to win the competition, but it's definitely one that I feel is going to qualify for the finals at Eurovision 2019. So let's take a look at Lithuania at Eurovision, my rankings versus the official results. In 2015, I placed Lithuania at 29th, and they finished 18th. In 2016, I've been waiting for this night, I placed at 23 and it finished ninth. And then in 2017, I had Fused Mark, Reign of Revolution, at 39th, and it ended up placing 40th. And then last year, in 2018, I had Yeva Zasim Mascate <laughs> with When We're Old in my 14th spot, and it ended up placing 12th. So it was a very good song last year, and I think you have the same thing, Lithuania. You have a quality, good, strong song, and I think it could yield a respectable result. Oh, will it qualify? We'll just have to see, but this is a nice song, and I really like it. I hope it does well at the competition, and Lithuania, you've been sending quality songs the last couple years, so yeah, it's looking up from here. Thank you for watching my review of Lithuania at Eurovision 2019. I've uh, got a lot of videos to do, and yeah, a lot more dumped today. Uh, I'm actually doing this at night because I couldn't really sleep much, so I stayed up doing videos because I really felt that drive and passion to do them. So uh, <laughs> I slept a little, and then I finished this video because I had already started with my thought process, and... Uh, writing down my ideas, so yeah, I figured that this would be a good one to finish off. 
So look tomorrow for Portugal to come out. Also, I will have Iceland because I heard that's crazy. I'm going to do a reaction video for Iceland and that'll probably come out pretty soon. And uh, yeah, I got a lot going on. So please subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed what I had to say about Lithuania. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate your support and ideas, comments, suggestions. So tell me how you like this song in the comment section below if uh, you enjoy Run With The Lions because I find it a very nice song to listen to. Well, until next time, Lethargic Sloth out.